Yes, hello and welcome to Blind Date. Now in tonight's show, we'll be saying hi de hi to Tanya and Michael on their date in funny Skegnet. And we'll also be seeing if Mark and Caroline found love in the Rockies in cool Canada. Yes, indeed. But first, we've got three great sports, all hoping to be a winner tonight. So bring on the boys. Where'd you come from? Yeah, hello, Stella. My name's Chris, and I'm from Nottingham. Yeah. Oh, Chris from Nottingham. Now, what do you do, Chris? Well, I'm a student in Nottingham, Stella, oh, and I'm a mechanical yeah. design student. Oh, very academic. <laughs> and you're very sporty as well, I believe. You I love do. all kinds of sports. I love, I love dangerous sports. If I can get a rush from it, I'll do it. So I'll dabble in a bit of windsurfing, snowboarding, cliff jumping. You name it, I'll give it a whirl. Oh, and you've also got a very bizarre ambition, I hear. <laughs> Yes, I'd like to be knighted and be a, a sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, why? It begs the question, why? Well, it's a bit of a family thing, really. My middle name's Lancelot, and oh. so I thought, well, a sir Lancelot, <laughs> it'll be quite groovy. Well, I wish you a lot of, lot of luck with that, all right. Oh, thank you, Michael. <laughs> what about holidays? I mean, you, I mean, you weren't quite the knight in shining armour when you were on a certain holiday. In Greece, was it? No, I wasn't still there. In fact, Where I, was was, it? Uh, I was in Greece. Oh, was, you were? Oh, was, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was working in Greece, and uh, Zoe Ball came out to do a bit of filming. Like, looking gorgeous as she is. Yes. And uh, she was in, happened to be in the same club as I was. Oh. And uh, she was she down there. You were there. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she was down there, and she managed to trip over when she was dancing. And I went to catch her, trying to be a bit of a hero. And it just slipped through my fingers and dropped on the floor. Oh. And uh, I almost died. It was oh. very embarrassing. So you dropped the ball? I did. I dropped the ball this time. <laughs> 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 you dropped the ball. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you are a one. Oh, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I am a one. I am a right one. <laughs> well, let's hope you are pick as catch tonight, all right? Oh, thank Enjoy you much. blind date number one on night and shining What's your name and where do you come from? My name's Matthew and I'm from Brighton. Ooh. And what does our Matthew do? I'm a deputy manager in retail. Are you really? I am indeed. Oh, well done. And you're, you're also, you describe yourself as a perfect 90s man. Well, I do try to be, Stella. I do try to be. Right. I, I mean, I, I think I know what you girls out there like. Oh. <laughs> well, what do those girls out there like then, sweetheart? I think you're looking for somebody that's caring and sensitive. Oh, yes. Yes, a uh, good sense of humour and a good listener as oh, well. Oh, yes. I can't believe that that's me. That is you. Yeah. Yes, and that's why you're on Blind Date. That's right. <laughs> now, you share a holiday moment with him, don't you? Because you had a holiday moment, too. Uh, yeah, I did. I did At have the a airport, indeed. I did have a bit of a problem, yeah. A yeah. uh, bit of a lads holiday to Gran Canaria. Uh, didn't manage to get out of the uh, airport without a bit of few problems. Oh. Well, uh, basically, it's my turn to go through the security, yeah. do the x-ray check, and uh, next thing I know, the old alarms have been set off. Oh. Two big burly security guards put me up and started frisking me down. Oh. <laughs> no, no, it's not nice. It wasn't a pretty sight. <laughs> they started emptying my bag and everything, and they bought me found a small tinfoil package. Oh. Obviously, obviously, they queried me. I said, do you know anything about this at all? No idea. I'd not seen it. I'd not packed it. So I slowly started to open it. Just inside was a couple of cheese sandwiches. <laughs> and, a, and a little note from Mum to say, just in case you get hungry on your holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy blind day Thank number you. two. That's a lovely story. Oh, man, great. And finally, hello, number three. What's your name and where do you come from? Chuck? My name's Donnie and I'm from East London. Donnie, Donnie from East London. And what does our Donnie from East London? I mean, are you a true blue cockney? I am, too. Oh, born in Very the sound of so. Bobo? In the same house, all my life. Ah. Oh. What do you do? Well, I work for a family business in East London selling pies. Oh, pies. <laughs> no, don't laugh. I love no. pies. What kind of pies, sweetheart? Well, steak and kidney, minced beef and onion. 
think you like it, I've got myself a lot. Are you sick of pies, or do you eat pies yourself? Still, there's one pie that I really do love. What? Minced beef and onion. With plenty of tomato ketchup. Oh. Oh. You must have tomato ketchup on it, otherwise it's going to be. Why? Because the taste, then. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> you. I just love ketchup. You love the ketchup with anything. With the pie. I love it with anything, yeah. What about girls? I mean, what kind of girls are you looking for here well, tonight? Girls don't worry me, silly. Just as long as they, they laugh and they'd like a pie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, let's see if I'll pick a thing. You're quite tasty yourself tonight, yes, all right? Fine. Enjoy blind date, all three of you. I shall see you all in a moment. See you later, lads. <laughs> Three boys certainly seem to have lots to offer, but which offer will be accepted tonight? Let's meet the girl who's got to decide. Her name's Katrina, and she's from Reading. So come in, Katrina! <laughs> I love your hair, Chuck. I do. Thank you. What do you do, Katrina? I'm a drama student. Now, I know you're addicted to a, cer to a certain sauce, aren't you? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Tomato ketchup. I eat it with everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a very good cook, you see, so... But yes. tomato ketchup just covers the taste. You slap it all <laughs> yeah. over the food. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you bring any ketchup with you today, just in case? I did. It's in my purse behind stage. Just in case I didn't like any of the food. <laughs> <laughs> so you haven't used it yet? No, not yet. <laughs> well, what about fellas? I mean, you've obviously, obviously got to go out with a fellow who likes ketchup as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. What type of fellas do you like? Tall, dark, handsome. Minimal bodily hair, though. <laughs> not uh, oh, you don't like hairy fellas? No, no, not too keen on the hair. Well, I've met the lads. I haven't seen them undressed <laughs> yet. <laughs> so I don't know whether they've got body hair or not. But I bet you've got three lovely questions. I us. have, yes. OK, Katrina, fire away with the first one. Hello, boys. Hi, Hi Katrina. Katrina. <laughs> I fulfilled my dream this summer by working in Ibiza. What would your ideal way of spending three months be? Number one, please. <laughs> uh, my three months, I'd have to uh, be spending some big thrills and uh, spills, uh, being a snowboard and windsurf bum over in New Zealand. So uh, if you pick me tonight, you can come and join me, and I'll give, guarantee you the thrill of your life. Hey, then, number two, please. I think I'd have to be a holiday entertainer, because I'm enthusiastic, witty, and a bit of a showman. So if you pick me tonight, I'll make sure that you're a very happy camper. Oh. <laughs> Number three, please. Hi, Katrina. Hello. All right. Well, like you, I've already fulfilled my dream, spending three months in Ibiza. And I'd love to do it again. But only next time, I'd love to do it with you. I'm known for being very lazy and my friends find me notoriously hard to wake up in the morning. How would you get me out of bed? Number two. Well, Katrina, <laughs> I, uh, it's very simple at the end of the day. If you choose me every morning, I'll roll over and, uh, you know, give you a bit of a nudge. <laughs> right then, number one, please. Hi, Katrina. Well, being mechanically minded, I'd have to try and build a machine that would sort of get you out of bed. So it'd wake you up, get you dressed, it'd feed you and bathe you. Alternatively, I could simply just do it myself. <laughs> Number three, please. Well, Katrina, I'm a pie seller. And to get you out of bed in the morning, I'd get one of my best pies. And once you've had it, you'll be up for it every morning. <laughs> Students, I drink far too much and have suffered the consequences of many an embarrassing moment. What's your most embarrassing moment? Number two. Well, uh, so far, I must admit, I've been pretty lucky. But I've got an awful feeling that if you don't pick me tonight, this is going to be my most embarrassing moment. <laughs> Number one, please. Well, my most embarrassing moment has to have been when I was working in Greece and I managed to drop uh, Zoe Ball on the dance floor. But don't worry, Katrina, 
because I let that one slip me by, but uh, I guarantee, I reckon you'll be a great catch. Number three, please. Well, Katrina, once I was fooling around in a cafe, and a wasp wouldn't leave me alone, so I trapped it under a cup and saucer. And when I finally released it, I had to flick it off, and it flew up my shorts. <laughs> and I had to pull my pants down in the cafe. So be nice. Make your mind up time. You've asked your three questions. Any ideas? Have you made your mind up? No, not yet. Oh, <laughs> Katrina, it's the point of no return. Who's it gonna be? Don't tell us just yet, because here's the voice of destiny. <laughs> yes, it's our Graham. Katrina! Would it be mechanical man number one who promises you big thrills if you play ball with him? <laughs> or would it be blushing number two who thinks he's the man for you? Nudge, nudge, say no more. <laughs> or perhaps number three will give you a buzz. The man whose pies in the sky will leave you panting. <laughs> Dorothy, the decision is yours. Yes, Katrina, yours and yours alone. Big decision. You're going on a blind date, but who wins? One, two or three? Number two. <laughs> The showman you like, number two. What about the two that you did turn down? You turned down number three. That was our Donny from right here in London. Come in, Donny. Yeah. Oh, Donny. Never mind. Just send us a pie. Just will you? Star Donny. True blue coffee is. <laughs> Having second thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> you little liar. <laughs> you also turned down number one. That was Chris from Nottingham. Come in, Chris. He's our academic. Oh, never mind, Chris. But wait for it now, Katrina. Stand by, because here is your blind date. You chose number two. That was Matthew from Brighton. Come in, Matthew. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. What do you think on first appearance? Very nice, yeah. Very nice. Oh, that's all right then. Very, very nice. <laughs> I wonder where you're going on your blind Go date. On. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's, a, it's a date wing walking. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, a date wing walking. Are you ready for this? It says here, you are going to be strapped to a plane <laughs> and flown over thousands of spectators at the Duxford Air Show. <laughs> oh, I just believe this. It also says here, don't worry, because we will bring you down to earth again to be wined and dined in a luxury hotel. It'll all be wonderful. <laughs> and it says, so will it be a flight of fancy, or will you, wait for it, be walking on air? <laughs> I think it'd be a fabulous day. And God knows what you're going to do with your dreadlocks up there. <laughs> now. Strap them back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, wish them well. Our Katrina and Matthew. Enjoy it.